And as Brett just mentioned, wind gusts tomorrow could cause trees weakened by winter weather to continue to create issues here in East Texas. Raleigh Jayswall shows us what you should do now to prevent damage tomorrow. About two weeks after the winter storm, tree services are still working to clear the area of any tree limbs or debris that could be dangerous as we head into a heavy wind day tomorrow. The homeowners received some storm damage. The tree failed, hit the roof, causing some pretty good damage to the, the back side of the home. There's still an enormous amount of damage that's occurring on roof systems right now. Michael Castle says almost all trees are subject to wind failures at some point. I've seen total losses in homes uh, all the way to you know punctured shingles, uh, minimal minimal damage. Uh, definitely power lines are usually a uh, high subject to damage in the winds. Strong winds uh, is always uh, very disruptive. It can blow wind driven rain up underneath your shingles. Also it can pull off tarps that weren't installed properly. Castle says trees without routine maintenance can become a hazard. Throughout proper pruning, you can actually mitigate this and, and, and potentially stop damages from happening to your home. And if you have any wind damage to your home, definitely call a local reputable roofing company to come out and do a full inspection of your roof system. Tree care is, is one of the most dangerous jobs in the world and, and uh, without the proper equipment, proper training, uh, it could result in serious injury or death. But the best thing you can do is to call a professional tree service to ensure your safety. In Tyler, I'm Neurali Jayswal with CBS 19.